So it's 6.30 in the evening and still 100 degrees over here in the Bay Area where I live. And hopefully it's going to cool off a little bit starting, not tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be 100 plus degrees as well. But during the next week, going to get maybe even into the 80s. I can't wait for it. This is really the longest heat wave I've ever been through. Let me show you some of the sizzlers. The ones that did well as well as some of the fizzlers the ones that didn't do so well in my garden during this heat wave in no particular order of course the ginger absolutely loved the weather it is sitting under some nice shade here so and i do have some water around it to make sure that it doesn't lose out on any moisture at all and actually has some kind of humidity i see a lot of small shoots growing from the bottom it's doing really well the turmeric is doing pretty good as well a little bit of browning of the leaves but not so bad and there's actually a little clump of turmeric starting up here i can count one two three little sprouts so really excited at how well they are doing in the heat they are heat loving plants so I shouldn't be too surprised, I suppose. Here is a fizzler, my fuchsia plant, full of buds, but every single one of them is fried. This thing gets a lot of sun all day. Here's another fuchsia plant right next to it. So I'm just hoping that once the heat wave passes, they're gonna bounce back. Here's another that's doing so well, my peanut plants. They are loving the heat. Look at that. They, I swear they've doubled in size ever since this heat wave started. This one is actually sharing space with some kind of melon. That one's sharing space with a tomato, but doing really, really well. My peppers sitting under some shade cloth doing really nicely. Look at those beautiful bell peppers that are ready to be harvested. I'll come out tomorrow after they've absorbed a little bit of moisture and I will harvest them. But I've got some other peppers in the back here as well. Overall, this patch is doing just fabulous. Another thing that's doing beautifully, eggplant. They are just loving all the sun. The more, the better. These plants are huge. Their leaves, huge doing really well, producing a lot of eggplants as well. I need to come out and harvest a few. Really need to harvest my onions. They are well overdue for harvesting, but I am just too lazy and I wanted to do a video. Maybe I'll just forget about it, forget the video. I'll come and harvest them tomorrow or on Monday. And my lovely dragon fruit plant and all its beautiful blossoms also thriving nicely in the heat my fig plant gosh this is why native plants are recommended figs love the mediterranean climate and this plant is just loaded and looking gorgeous my sweet peppers doing okay actually producing quite a few fruit so i shouldn't complain but yeah i guess they're okay squash plant is looking lovely but not a single squash is being spared for me this is a, a scallop zucchini plant and the squirrels are getting everything and i'm just letting them they're hungry uh, what's not doing so well here tomatoes just in general my tomatoes are not doing well at all in fact i've been going around harvesting here and there because they are just really struggling so is my citrus not doing so well i should have put it in the shade all my tomato plants are really not looking so hot. They come to a standstill once the temperatures reach this stage. But uh, they've got 80% shade cloth over them and they're not doing very much. I don't see too many new tomatoes growing. Mm, squirrels have been getting to some of them. But I'm just kind of letting nature do its thing really doing well here are my cow peas beans in general love the heat just give them any three digit number and they will thrive these are growing so fast in the heat amazingly another plant that's doing really well in the heat is my dino tree kale it's looking absolutely fabulous i've been harvesting leaves for smoothies they're not bitter they're delicious so I'm happy about that. All these young fruit trees on this side of my house, the east facing side, are doing quite nicely. I brought all my little baby fig plants here, my young pomegranate plant that I grew from cuttings this year, and my tomato tree. I'm so excited about the tomato trees. I've got two of them, and they're both doing really well, growing very fast in this heat. 
on my green stocks some things are doing well some things are not doing so well I'm actually neglecting them just to see how they do under neglect but uh, yeah the pumpkins they love the heat they're looking a little chlorotic maybe give them some nitrogen once the heat wave passes um, the lettuces are all Christmas trees but I'm saving these for seeds yeah so overall I think the garden did really really well and I attribute it to shade cloth, thick, thick mulch, and regular watering twice a day. It wasn't easy.